TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Friday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We got 30 minutes to go until the start of trading. And surprise, surprise, folks, we got markets in record territory, higher prices across the board. S&P's up 18 points right now. You're talking about record territory, 43.77 in the S&P's. We got the NASDAQ 100. We had a 15,000 print overnight. Just at about 6 a.m. this morning, you're up there at 15,015. We've backed off a bit. You're still up by about 3 tenths percent at 14,971. The Dow bumping up against all-time highs as well. How about getting back? 1200 1300 points from where we were last friday last friday folks you bet folks you back it up about a week about a week to almost the 15 minute mark 9 45 a.m last friday morning we were just about to touch 35,000. by monday morning you were at 33,623. but guess what folks it's friday and we're right back up right near 35,000 in the dow the russell is positive by 15 points trading at 2209. Bitcoin hanging around the 32,000 mark, 32,475 after hitting that dicey area of 29,215 earlier in the week. You got crude giving back some of the gains, but man, it had been quite a gain this week from 6501. I mean, look at crude. Crude almost looks like the Dow, right? Quite the acceleration. And then you get it all back from about 72 bucks down to 65. And we're going to end the week right near $72. Gold contract down a bit, 1803, a little bit of volatility on gold this morning, down to 1789. And we jump to notes and bonds, quite a reversal as well. We got the 10 year right now, negative by eight ticks. You're talking about a yield of 1.3%. 1.3% on the 10 year. We're at 134 exactly. The 30 year is negative 28 ticks at 163.20 as we jump over to the volatility index for a market that just continues higher. Pretty much the same story. We get it all back on the VIX as well. We're going to end the week right where we ended last week, folks, with about a 16 handle. We did have a 16 handle in the last half hour of trading. All right, on the earnings front, we get some strong numbers by the social media companies. Let's put it on a 15 minute and jump over to maybe the biggest winner of the morning, Snapchat. My goodness, you're talking about trading up by about $11, almost a 20% acceleration on Snapchat shares uh, as they crushed it on their earnings. Twitter crushed it as well. They're up about $3. Who did not crush it? Sam Adams, Boston Beer. They are not delivering in the world of hard seltzer and the market is worried. How about trading down about $200 overnight? Sam Adams can open about $751. We'll get into it all, folks. Stay tuned. And we got the Olympics starting today. Opening ceremonies going on right now. Right now. 